看看新闻网。Welcome to Ways to Wellness, a show that guides you to the best ways to get well and stay well. Here we are giving you a fair stage on which to demonstrate both traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine solutions. But if we just show you the different options, you are the one to decide which is the best treatment for you. Have you ever had the trouble concentrating on work due to lack of energy after a sleepless night? Don't worry. Today we'll talk about insomnia, and we have doctors to provide you some tips on how to deal with the problem. And the increasing number of people are suffering from insomnia in this fastly developing society, according to data published by the Sleep Disorder Study Institute of Shanghai Hospital of Traditional Chinese Medicine in 2010. Around 38% of adults are victims of this restless condition. This means more than 7 million people have difficulties falling asleep from a total 19 million residents in Shanghai. Insomnia causes a huge amount of damage to the body, according to research in 2013 from the Insomnia and Depression Study Center of Shanghai Hospital, affiliated to Nanjing Institute of Politics. The chances for people who suffer from insomnia to develop constipation, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease. Diabetes, stomach and intestinal disease, sexual dysfunction, and cerebral neurasthenia are three times higher than those who don't. Before we discuss further about insomnia, let me introduce to you our patient and doctors of today. Our patient is Da Tong. Welcome, Da Tong, to the studio. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, I just haven't、uh, been sleeping well recently.、Uh, for the last、uh, couple of months, I've been having a hard time falling asleep. And、when I fall, do fall asleep, I don't sleep. I don't get a deep sleep, and I dream a lot and wake up early, and just、uh, very exhausted during the day, very tired, and which、uh, doesn't help because、um, I started a new position a couple months ago, and my responsibility has increased, a lot of stuff on my plate, so I really need to be physically and mentally sharper. But unfortunately, because lack of sleep,、uh, everything is much more sluggish, and also.、Um, I get more irritable,、um, and I just feel I'm not in good shape to do what I'm capable of doing, and really start to affect my work and outside work as well. And、uh, I think a lot of it's because I just haven't been able to rest well.、Uh, so hopefully I can have this problem、uh, figured out and resolved soon. Otherwise, it's gonna really affect my work and my life. That's me, our doctors. The doctor Chu Lifang is a. Doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, Doctor Steve Shi、yes. is of Western medicine. Chu Lifang is professor at the Shanghai University of Traditional Chinese Medicine and chief physician at the Shuguang Hospital affiliated to the university. She is good at using TCM, acupuncture, and psychological therapy to treat various emotional, mental disorders, and mental diseases. Doctor Steve Shi is director of UFH Behavioral Health Services. As well as the chair of mental health department and the clinical psychiatrist at the Shanghai United Family Hospital and Clinics, he graduated from Harvard University and completed his psychiatry residency at the world-renowned Cleveland Clinic in the United States. Da Tong 先生，你这个失眠的不是很严重，中医望闻问切，我一看你这个神态，不是很严重的失眠。就算是失眠，你也不用太太担心。呃，就是据统计哈，大概有百分之二十左右的失眠患者，他是假性失眠，他自己实际上睡眠没有那么糟糕，但他想象的很糟糕。我的病人有很多也是这样，他就说，哎，其实我可担心，一到晚上我就愁啊，我今晚怎么睡啊，怎么睡，就变成一个睡眠焦虑了。他就给自己暗示一个睡不着怎么办，睡不着怎么办，结果就越来越睡不好。偶然一次失眠，没有什么问题的。我这个年龄，我我大概每隔两个星期就一天会测一次眠，但是我就是不吃安眠药。我今天也不睡，我就看电视看到三四点钟，然后我第二天他就会睡了。就相信自己身体进化过程中有很强的一种自我平衡和调整的能力，就不要过早的去依赖药物。包括中西药物，所以就是失眠的一开始的话，我们要屏住，先不要去吃药，对不对？这是我们的一个首选的一个。特别是越年轻越不要吃。如果你你让中医给你出主意，那我哈我我代表我个人的观点，你第一个你就得回归正常的睡眠习惯，就是我们强调一个子时阴阳交，就是晚上的十一点到一点，这个叫子时，就这两个时间段。
，人是一定要睡觉的。如果你这个时候不睡哈，长期不睡，它就叫阴阳不平衡了，然后天人不合一了，最后你的身体就就全部都乱，就生物钟都全乱了。I usually I I can't be laying in bed for hours. I really fall asleep when body is totally exhausted. I can't stay up anymore. That's when I just fall asleep. Uh, so now I just go to bed when I feel tired. If I go to bed like a certain time, like 10 o'clock, I'll be laying tossing, tossing, turning, probably for at least a couple hours. 那么你就睡前准备的好一点了，不做兴奋的事情，对不对？不去唱歌，不去喝酒，不去喝咖啡。中医有很多安眠的穴位的。我们最常用就是心经这个穴位，心经，我们叫它掌横纹。你看，嗯，你们每个手有个掌横纹嘛，哈，掌横纹下面、嗯，然后你摸到一个，你手这个姿势，你摸到一个筋，嗯、啊，有一个筋，有个筋，然后筋内侧掌横纹下面你就按，筋的内侧，大我们叫大筋内侧掌横纹下面，嗯，这就是身门。两边都有啊。OK， 不是。男左女右嘛，男左女右，你男的就多按左，女的多按右。Okay, 呃，要想睡觉的时候，你就可以。在这里，如果想增强那个针感啊，我们可以两边对起来，用指甲去掐，这样的那个针感就会强一些。首先，心经的弯曲，你可以看到你这有三条掌横纹，如果三条，你就取中间这一条，然后你可以摸到这有一个筋，就是这个大筋内侧，呃，手背的这个尺侧，这个掌横纹的这个下边这里，你可以按。你有什么感觉 ？I I can feel, I can feel it. It's like pain. 你你自己试一下， yeah. 你自己找一下。So、right right here. 对， okay. 可以用指甲直接去按。哦、oh, ，OK、wow.。嗯， you. 很好，没有任何副作用。Yeah. 你可以持续按个三五分钟，再换到这个时候再按， yeah, 直至按到你睡觉为止。OK。一定会睡觉的。Okay. 这是神门，是安神的第一要穴。我觉得这个穴位呢，还是。很好找，一找就找到，而且就按下去很,很快就有感觉。刚刚那个 Steve 也说，哎呀，一按下去就好酸，好酸。得气了吗？哦，叫得气，中、嗯、医叫得气,得气、嗯。你必须按的有感觉，否则没效的。嗯嗯嗯。那么，秦医生能不能再再介绍一个穴？可以啊，还有一个叫安眠穴，这是一个叫静脉奇穴，就在你这个耳朵哈，耳垂，耳你把耳朵按下去，耳垂的接住的那个下面。嗯 Uh, can you show me where it's at? So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm have, having a hard time finding that location. <laughs> can you make sure that I? I, 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 I
also including the, uh, the change of the, the things you drink and you smoke, you know, and uh, nicotine and alcohol and the, uh, and caffeine we mentioned before, right? It's lifestyle change. And also the sec third category is this, you know, the stress management, in which you can say related to the lifestyle change, but I think it's more specific stress management. And we all know it's, we are all having stress in life nowadays. And uh, so my feeling is if you, yes, all the things can help, but if you don't try and align in source, like in this case, mm -hmm. what actually causes him feeling stress, how he cope with this, what his perception is about the stress, it's very important, right? Mm -hmm. And the stress is a very subjective concept. The same stressor to one person can feel very stressful, mm -hmm. to the other person can be no problem. Yeah, so I think it's, it's, uh, it's also uh, needs to be addressed. And uh, you have questions? So, yeah, so if I understand correctly, uh, insomnia is not a disease, it's just a symptom. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. What he is saying, insomnia is is a, is a symptom mm. on, to us. I don't know the Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine, but what you can say, if the, the real, real, genuine, primary insomnia, maybe that's the disease. Disease. Mm. But my understanding is, I guess, as as science advances, maybe we still could find some causes <laughs> for those so-called primary insomnia. Yeah. So it's so. a primary. So far, but not yes, necessarily no, in the future. Yes, exactly. So yeah. I think uh, uh, that's that's true. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It's a symptoms for us. Yeah. A symptom for many underlying disease. Commonly, it's a, in the during life, daily life, it's uh, you know depression, anxiety, and the stress in general. And not commonly sleep apnea for obese patient who have like uh, you know some problem can tends to have a sleep apnea. You know that kind mm. of thing. For this kind of patient, we need to send them to the sleep center really do the whole monitoring, sleep overnight, check the brain wave and the bre heart breathing rate, and uh, heart beating rate and the respiratory breathing rate, and also the, the movement of the eyes and the bodies. So we, then the specialist uh, can analyze what's the underlying cause what, you know, for the insomnia. Yeah, so I'm a little bit nervous based on the uh, doctor's recommendation on uh, my uh, Insomnia is caused by different anxiety and pressure. Now, based on your experience, how much percentage of the patients uh, suffering insomnia because of anxiety or their uh, physical, mental state of being that's not being healthy? Hmm. Hmm. I haven't seen a specific report. But from my own experience, I think about 7 or 8 is there. It's the old people who are sleeping. They say, 好像不想什么，什么都好。但实际上，他从年轻的时候就有一些这种操劳啊、焦虑啊，然后他堆下来的。他现在是放开了，但是过去的影响还在，所以还是跟这个是有关系的。Insomnia is a reflection of anxiety to a great degree, but where does that anxiety come from? How can we detect the influence from our subconscious? The Yellow Empress Canon of Medicine, published during the Warring States period, is a masterpiece named after Chinese ancestor, the Yellow Emperor, in a chapter titled Magic View. It's recorded that if a person has too much yin energy, they will dream about a scary flood. If there is too much yang energy, they will dream about being burned by a huge fire. Traditional Chinese medicine has developed a systematic theory to explain dreams since the days of ancient China, which was derived over 2,500 years ago. About the first Yusuosi 我说你女儿的男朋友要当大官
已经是一个部门的一个领导了，然后还在培养他，呃，很快又要得到签生的。然后，嗯，他说，那我就不需要吃药了。我说可以啊，你可以不吃药了。他说我来都来了，就吃吧，然后开了中药就好了。所以像这样的一些梦哈，你就是多稍微多一点，问一下他有没有梦。什么梦？帮他说一下，他那个结打开了就好了。如果不管他，反正就是安神什么的，也不管他梦怎么样，他那个结还在那个地方，好梦坏梦，好梦坏梦。你就是强安了神，或者强施了一些安眠药，他可能暂时可以，所以到最后还是不行。Well, have you made a treatment plan for yourself? I have learned a lot today.、Uh, mm. One thing I learned is that、uh, insomnia is a symptom, it's not a disease, but it could lead to a serious disease down the road if I don't cure right away. And I, I'm going to take、uh, some advice. One thing is、uh, to also my, I mean, my work life、uh, be more,、uh, maybe less ambitious, and、uh, help my、uh, time management skill better. You know, better time management skill to reduce stress. And I can't wait to、uh, go home and try these different methods tonight and、uh, get some better sleep.、Mm. So it's worth to come to Waste Wellness. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it, it was really.、Uh, I learned a lot today. Thanks to both、uh, doctors. Yeah, thanks to both doctors. Da Tong decides to exercise in order to have better sleep after listening to the two doctors' advice. He's joined an American football training team for now. Let's go and have a look.